Kelsey and welcome to today's Disney challenge uh, as you could probably tell maybe just a little bit uh, today's character or by the title you can probably tell by the title uh, silly me uh, that today's Disney challenge characters are Mulan and Shang I think they turned out amazing I really like the way the house turned out the way their characters turned out I'm really excited um, to play them so yeah uh, I hope you guys enjoy be sure to tell me what you think down below in the comments and tell me what character you guys think I should do next so yeah And here are the outfits, uh, all of Mulan's dresses and stuff. I even worked in one of the dresses as her sleepwear because uh, there was just so much custom content uh, for Mulan. Uh, if you guys want to get the custom content for yourself, the link will be down below. So here they are at their home. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys this. I spent all day building this place. All right, so let me zoom out and show you all the way up. You can't really see the top pagoda type uh, thing, but you can just imagine it for now. But yeah, this is their house, guys. Um, I really like the way it turned out. I think it looked r it looks really good. Oh, let me give you a tour. They've got little fountains out here. Uh, we've got all these doors. <laughs> um, wow, they've already gone to bed. Uh, but here's their little temple with a... Uh, oh, let's bring all this down. Sleeping through the night. Oh, this is cute. So yeah, here's the little dragon. And I put a little beetle in here for uh, the cricket, you know. A little cricket, I love it. And then over here, you have we have a little pond. We have like a pool, but we have like a, it's like a pond, you know. And I love these lights. I love it. I love it. But yeah, here's the inside. What are they up to? All right, so she's going to the kitchen. We'll start in there. Uh, here's the kitchen. Um, there was a lot of space in this house that I had trouble filling, but I feel like I did pretty well. What do you guys think? Here's the kitchen slash dining room. <laughs> I love I love all the clutter stuff you can find in the decorations. I think that's one of my favorite parts. All right, here's the living room. Uh, we have a piano fireplace in this corner, the TV living section in that corner, uh, we have space, <laughs> and we have um, the bathroom. And this is the only bathroom in the house, unfortunately. I really haven't really found the space. I'll show you guys what I mean. Uh, when you go up a level, it gets a little bit awkward, um, but you'll see in a second. Here is the exercise room. 
and has another fireplace, as you can see. Fireplace. But this is uh, definitely a must for both of them, because, like, they're in the army, and they're gonna, like, work out together and be awesome with, you know, activity. Okay, now to show you guys the upstairs and what I was talking about. So, yeah, everything kind of goes inward, and the rooms get a funny shape. Um, so it was a little bit odd. I made this room into kind of like a gardening room, and I feel like it could be, you know, really fun for her. And plus we have all these bonsai plants that could be really cute. Here's their actual bedroom. I, as you can tell throughout the entire house, I have like a red-brown theme, uh, to kind of try and keep it oriental. But yeah, here's their bedroom. They have bookcases and whatnot and a little changing area over here. I think it turned out pretty well. And then if we go up a floor, these floors I actually had no clue what to do with, so I just kind of winged it. Uh, does not much decoration right now, but it's just a guest room with beds and stuff. And then over here we just have a card playing room, I guess. Where, you know, kind of like a man cave, except the cave is on top of the house. And then there's actually no way to get to this room, but I figured we're probably going to see it every once in a while. So here's that. I just put the horse statues in a little fountain. I thought it'd be cute. Yeah, I did a lot with the curtains throughout the house. I really liked the curtains. I feel like it just, you know, it added that little flare that the walls needed. Oh, I didn't get a chance to uh, explain every all their uh, ambitions and stuff in the first part, so I thought I would do that uh, now because the audio went a little bit weird in the first part. But yeah, so Li Shang, believe it or not, that is her name, or his name, uh, is ambitious, good, active, and apparently has a high metabolism. That's not a trait I cho chose, but it's there. <laughs> Um, he is, his aspiration is to be a bodybuilder. I really didn't, uh, know what to do. I know he wanted to be a general, like his father. Uh, so I just kind of went with what seemed right, you know? You need to be pretty strong to be a general. Alright, and Fa Mulan, believe it or not, that is her name, how it goes. Uh, she is family-oriented, ambitious, active, and... Domestic, I guess? Um, I, I didn't choose that one either. It's just one that came. Uh, big happy family um, is her aspiration. I chose this because she went off to uh, war in place of her father to save her family, that kind of thing. So I figured family oriented was a pretty good idea. We're gonna, we're gonna have her work out. See her exercise. She looks like ping. <laughs> nice. So yeah. I think they turned out really well. I don't know if they should have a job. Honestly, I don't know what job they would have. Look at the bonsai! Looks so cute and stuff. Sake up and trimmed back. You know, I'm pretty cool. I'm cool, I'm cool. There's actually a little place I can put, have her practice painting as well. Which I want to do because there's now a thing where she can like take a picture and paint. So now when it, that option comes up, I can look out into maybe the pond or you know, the house or something, and have her paint that. I think that'd be cute. Alright, so yeah, this is the pool. I put a lot of those cute lights around here as well. I think it'll look really pretty at night. I didn't put anything really in the pool other than this lily pad. I hope we can- can you swim through it? If they could have a job, what jobs do- what job do you think they- I like how the mirror actually, like, reflects stuff. View. Oh, that looks cool. 
I am Mushu. <laughs> okay, so one of the things that we do have now are basements. Although I didn't actually make a basement for this house because I felt like there was enough space that we didn't need to. Um, but you guys, if you guys have any basement ideas for any of the houses we make here, uh, be sure to tell me. We could probably make like a dungeon or something for the princess's house, you know? <laughs> All right. <laughs> They're looking pretty cute Ooh, together. Whippers. We should have them do, have them <laughs> do something together, maybe. Let's have them watch TV together. This will be cute. Nah, they'll just sit on the other side of the couch from each other. This giant space in between. How sad. Nerch. Huh. Oh, it looks so pretty. Oh, I think I have a better idea about that room divider. What if Ugh. we put it behind the couch? Nerf. We'll leave it where it is for now. I like it. I'm absolutely in love with these uh, lights right here, the four, the tree ones with the lanterns hanging off of them. Those and these, I just absolutely love for this house. They're perfect. We need to have some sort of bathroom, I think, up here. Not sure where, though. It's a bit odd. Maybe we can split this room in half and make one half of it a bathroom. I don't know. It's an idea, guys. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining me on today's Disney Challenge episode with Mulan and Shang. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to tell me down below what you thought of the house, any ideas of how I could have done it differently. Uh, you know, just, you know, what did you think? What did you think? Um, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic Friday. Stay wonderful, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, and be sure to tell me down below what princess or character we should do next.